students in Brazil are fighting a battle for the country's future and for putting an end to the Jair Bolsonaro regime. All eyes are on the country as more than a million students, professors, university workers and activists are expected to hit the streets on May 30th in defense of public education. In early May, the far-right government of Bolsonaro announced a 30% budget cut for Brazilian universities and froze graduate grants. This move will reduce spending on services such as electricity, internet, water supply and other infrastructure. The administration is also planning to stop 3,400 scholarships meant for scientific research and for graduate students. The strike, led by the National Students' Union, has managed to gain traction owing to support from teachers' organizations, trade unions, social movements and progressive political parties as well. The expansionary and inclusionary measures introduced by former presidents Lula da Silva and Dilma Rousseff, which revolutionized Brazil's education system, have been blocked with Bolsonaro coming to power. On May 15, nearly one million people mobilized across major cities in Brazil against these regressive education reforms. The mobilization on May 30th is expected to be even bigger. These mobilizations have also incorporated elements from the LA Now protests, which were carried out last year against Bolsonaro's candidacy for president. The mobilizations also bolster the call for the release of former President Lula da Silva from prison and reject the neoliberal policies which have affected the Brazilian public sector and encroached upon workers' rights. Following are the key reasons behind the mobilization on May 30th. Cuts to education would affect basic material resources, training for educational workers, as well as the youth and adult education program. Students, teachers and institutions would be ideologically persecuted. This directly threatens freedom of thought, which is necessary to the study of humanities and critical thought. These cuts will have a profound impact on health, scientific and technological production as public universities are responsible for more than 90% of research and innovation in the country. The government plans to make cuts amounting to 1500 million US dollars in education and 500 million US dollars in science and technology projects which were developed thanks to public universities. The cuts in public education have the objective of amplifying the profit margin of big international conglomerates by privatizing education and reducing it into a commodity for sale. Tomorrow, thousands will hit the streets as a warm-up to the general strike which is expected to take place on June 14 against the pension reform bill. See you in the mobilization. Hey,